Today I'm showing you how to paint those two simple watercolor landscapes for beginners. Hey guys, how are you doing? At first I'm starting with a sketch and I used watercolor pencils for that but you can also use uh, just a regular pencil and don't use it too heavily so you won't see it in the future but we're gonna paint over it anyways so just sketch out roughly where you want what to be. And I already taped down my pages so that I will get a clean edge in the end. And now I'm starting to add details to the water here because this is going to be the water. And in front there's going to be a rock. And yeah, here you can see it now. I mixed a very dark purple here. And then I just painted it with this very dark tone so that I will have this foreground. And on the bottom I used that space just to swatch out my colors because I thought that it would be fun to see all the colors at once. And also when I wasn't sure if the color was too dark I tested it out there at first. You can of course skip that part but I thought that it would be kind of fun. And then I'm adding the sky here. I mixed some pink and some orange here. And I'm just being very messy because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a sky and those paintings are very loose. So I didn't force myself to put as many details on there. And they're just very simple. And here I did the rocks on the left side and now I'm already painting the beach here. I just went with this color palette where I used mostly purple and pink and orange. And I really like this color palette. And here's the horizon and I'm adding some pink clouds here. You can use any colors you want but I really love those colors. And here I used the wet and wet technique that means I used a lot of water and the paper was wet and then I put some wet paint on there and now you can see how the paint runs into each other and I love this effect for this loose sky. And by the way, the reference pictures that I used are from a photographer called Joel Torbe. Torbe? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to link his Instagram profile in the description because he has so many beautiful pictures all in that color scheme and style. And if you're looking for reference pictures, look him up. Maybe ask him before you use the pictures if he's okay with that. But since he allowed me to use the pictures here, I guess he'll be fine with that. So check him out. He's an amazing photographer. And yeah, I felt very inspired by his photos. So I used them here. And here I'm painting the water and I'm just adding more and more details in. Those dark spots that you see more in the background are the waves and they're breaking there and those are the dark spots. And on the left side I'm adding those details, those darker ones. That's also some kind of wave. I'm going to link the exact photos that I used down below. So you can check those out and see what I painted here. Um, I didn't completely copy them, but you'll get more of an idea of what I did here. And just keep in mind that you don't have to completely do what I'm doing here because I'm just loosely painting something, having fun with it, so don't worry about it being perfect. Just maybe look at those reference pictures or make up your own scenery. I'm adding a little bit more details, more shadows here on the beach. And I, I didn't um, make sure that it would be completely perfect. I didn't completely copy the photo that I had, so... You don't have to either. 
And here I added the blue with the wet and wet technique to the sky. And now I'm adding more details to the water. It's basically just a mixture of lines and dots. I did a lot of lines here on the top part of the ocean and a lot of dots where there are those white pieces that you see. I did some very light dots to show the different textures of the water. And here I started to add a little bit of the pink to the water because of course the sky is going to be reflected in the water. Here's more pink and I also added some orange and of course I added some blue. And then I mixed those together to have several colors on the water because the water is moving and it's not just a stiff uh, color where there's pink on one end and there's orange on the other. So you want to kind of merge them together. <laughs> and here I did the purple cloud in the sky and then I started to add the person standing on the picture here. Um, you can skip that part if you don't want a person standing there. I'm not sure if the person on the photo is the photographer himself or someone else. But I really liked it that someone is standing there. So I put it in on both pictures. And yeah, I'm adding a bit more shadows here. And yeah, I I'm just... <laughs> deciding where I want them to go, where I like them to be. And like I said before, I'm now mixing together those colors on the water here. I'm just very loosely painting that. And now I added this <laughs> kind of square just for fun. I wanted to fill that area as well, so I just did some wet on wet. You can see how the watercolors react here. And it's just a fun thing to do. And now I'm using the jelly roll pen and I'm adding more details to the water. That's where the wave is breaking. And yeah, now um, the the water on that square is half dry and I added water there so you can see that cauliflower effect and I think it's very cool if you want to have that effect and if you don't want to just make sure to let your paint completely dry before you add water or add water immediately and not this half dry effect if you don't want it. Now I'm adding more purple to that square and then I lightened it up with a tissue and got some texture there and I kind of really like it. And I just added some stickers here because it's my art journal and I wanted it to be fun and some stars and yeah. And that's it. That's everything that I did here. Those are the two paintings and just make sure to keep it loose, have fun with it, experiment with it. Maybe the first painting won't be absolutely perfect, but you'll get there and just make it a fun, simple and loose painting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, goodbye!